In one word or phrase, I would describe my high school experience as impactful, shaping, growth, meaningful, enjoyable, prideful, crazy lit movie, unforgettable, weird, exciting, fun, like all over the place. One word to describe my high school experience is it's kind of like a roller coaster. It's, there's a lot of highs and lows, but you eventually figure out your way and you learn to enjoy it in the end. And you wish you could do it all over again. My high school career, I would definitely describe it as interesting because COVID messed up all of our schedules and it also just, I met so many random people that I didn't think I was gonna be friends with and I got involved into so many extracurriculars I also didn't think I'd be involved with. United would be like a pretty good word since we're like really close and like everybody's like getting along with each other for the most part, <laughs> even though, I don't know, like spoons <laughs> or assassins, like we're just like yelling at each other, but we're still like a really tight family. You know that. I would say one word to describe my high school experience was energetic because there was always something to do here, whether it was hanging out with friends, talking to teachers, all the teachers were always nice. And I always just had, I was always upbeat and always doing something here and I really loved that. Uh, amazing. I would say that I've had a really good time and it's been nothing short of amazing. Surreal. Everything at Turkey kind of feels like a movie and I don't even know how to explain it except for surreal. It is memorable. Memorable. And memorable. Memorable because I've just made so many memories and made so many friends over these past four years that I'll never forget. I'll describe it as insightful. Uh, some good things, some bad things. Um, some of the bad things I've turned them into good things and turned them into lessons and a lot of good things and lots of fun. Successful because I feel like I accomplished a lot over the last four years and made a lot of good memories and friends. In one word I'd probably say my experience in high school was intense. I think it was an intense time academically, emotionally, and socially and even though it was a lot of fun there was a lot of changes I had to adjust to. I would describe the class of 2023 as resilient. They're resilient because they came in here uh, as normal students going through their freshman year and then they had their entire education flipped on its head and for a long period of time and they were doing things that uh, were just abnormal for a long period of time. Amazing. I would call you guys amazing because you guys have a great personality. You were great to have in class. You always contributed in a fantastic way. Got to know plenty of you. Um, some of you guys even took care of my kids when I brought them in to the school. And my kids still talk about being at this school, which is something I can always take with me. For me, it would be family. They were such a tight-knit, cohesive group. They included each other in as much as every classmate wanted to be a part of something. Very much like a family. Sometimes families are crazy. Sometimes we're openly hostile when we're tired and cranky, like on the senior class trip. But a group of people that care very, very much for themselves and will always stand up and stand together for each other. I would describe the class of 2023 as genuine. And the reason I would say this is because they are kind, sincere, they work really hard, and they're just all around genuine good kids. And then becoming the awesome class that they've been. I mean, literally 2023 may be one of the best classes, if not the best classes we have had here. I would describe the class of 2023 as spirited. Not every class that comes through here has great school spirit. Um, it, it, uh, it comes and it goes, and this class has really been uh, active at all events. They've been a lot of fun. Uh, I think they truly enjoy, enjoyed their experience at Cherokee. I think they loved going to the games, loved going to the plays, loved going to all the events. So it was refreshing to see, and uh, it was a lot of fun watching them do all those things. Charismatic. Um, they're just, you know, even in class, in the hallways, they're outgoing, they've got personality to spare uh, in a very positive way. They're engaged with stuff that goes on here at the school, supporting themselves, you know, in their, in their ventures in classwork, in sports, in the extracurriculars, uh, and yeah, show their charisma that way. My favorite teacher is Miss LaRosa. Miss Finan. Miss Justice. Uh, Miss Chachko. Mrs. Lum. Mr. Sachs. Mr. Dolores. Mrs. Herpin. Mr. Mr. Ellis. Mr. Pohl. Miss Castor. Miss Brown. Mr. Lynn. Mr. Megan. Mr. McKay. Uh, my favorite teacher had to be Mr. Clay. I never had his class, but he let me come to his uh, gym class every day. 
Um, there are a lot of good memories from the class of 23, for sure. But I would say the opening act of Mr. Cherokee, where the it was like everything came to fruition with the event, and the guys were there, and the student body was going nuts. And it was just a really cool moment. It gave me the chills watching it, just because everything um, was perfect. And it was like a big event, a big night for the class of 23. Uh, one standout moment from the class of 2023, it definitely has to be the one chip challenge. Um, I will never forget when Kevin and Dora in my class three AP psychology, uh, Kevin brought in the one chip and it was definitely a moment to remember. Um, I was a little nervous that uh, they were gonna not make it through the challenge, but they did and it was, uh, it was really memorable, yeah. I just remember the first day when I actually got to see all your faces instead of just a mask and some eyes. And to be honest, I didn't even recognize some of my students because you just didn't look the way I expected you to. But it was just so nice seeing your smiles and seeing the joy in everyone's face that we could finally be together and talk and be normal. I thought about this for a little bit and my favorite moment from this class actually happened their junior year when I was stuck with about 25 boys in phys ed class and they played the game of speedball better than anyone I've ever seen in my life. Sometimes too aggressive, but it was still pretty cool how much they came out of that gym sweating and having fun. One standout moment from the class of 2023 is in September of this year, my dad passed away on the second day of school while I was in with my senior AP Italian class. A week later, at his funeral, the entire class got permission to leave school early and come to support me. I'll never be able to thank them enough for that. Uh, a standout moment, for me anyway, was this year's pep rally. Uh, I think the seniors did a great job. They practiced, they planned, they followed through, and it was hilarious. I think they nailed it. I think the kids liked it a lot. Um, their rendition of The Little Mermaid will be something I think I'll remember forever. Friday nights, right? Having now seniors in the, in the, in the front row at, at the football games and being there supporting the school, supporting their team, and really just having fun with each other. Right? That moment when everyone's got their, got their orange on and they're cheering, the little confetti, little popper things going off, everyone's singing together. I would say Friday night. Uh, I think coming out of the fall, Jake Zabriskie's catch against Shawnee to set us up to win the game was a, a pretty big moment. Every senior class in football loves beating Shawnee, so that play individually stands out. My favorite moment for the class of 2023 was the senior prom. It was a wonderful event, great weather, great venue, and everyone being dressed to the nines and having a, a, an outstanding evening was, was a joy to watch. This is also my last year, so in a way I'm the class of 2023 as I'm retiring this year after 14 years here at Cherokee. So everything was exciting to me, the whole experience of going through it. It zoomed by though. My favorite high school memory is the Friday Night Lights. You know, those football games were definitely lots of fun, especially the rivalry games with like Lenapede and Shawnee and stuff. Uh, my favorite high school memory was the Disney trip. It was just an amazing experience to be in the most magical place on earth with my friends. Favorite memory from high school has to be when our boys soccer team won the state championship. And we were there, we were supposed to lose 3-1, that was the prediction, and we won in penalty kicks. Thank you, Cole Grzawa. My favorite high school memory would be uh, final bows on closing night. Uh, it was pretty bittersweet, but it really uh, left me uh, very excited for uh, everything that I'd accomplished. Favorite high school memory is the my lunch table. We had a lot of fun times and giggles. No, I don't like giggles. <laughs> giggles is weird. Favorite memory from high school is being in the JROTC program for all four years. Um, it's, they're like a family to me and being with Chief Harvey and Major Meehan who retired, it was just a fun experience that I would not do anything over again. Probably has to be junior year in the lunchroom when someone threw a bag of mac and cheese at all my friends <laughs> and it exploded everywhere. In the moment it kind of stunk, but it's funny looking back. My favorite memory from high school is probably playing softball and getting to play with all the girls like I grew up with uh, and like playing travel ball with and all that. 
I would say my favorite high school memory was probably prom. I mean, I know it's a basic answer, but it was really magical seeing everyone dressed up and looking their best, and I just had so much fun that night. Winning the sectional title last year for baseball. In marching band, when we won states, we all celebrated before we left. Um, my favorite memory probably comes from track. I went to Oregon twice with my team, which is pretty fun. My favorite memory would have to be Mr. Cherokee as a whole. Uh, the whole night was so much fun and everything leading up to it, even though it was a lot of work. My favorite memory was playing lacrosse sophomore year when we won the state championship. One of my favorite high school memories is recreating the Friends intro for Mr. Cherokee. Uh, we took a couch from the pack, downing Jason Schooley's truck into the bowl, and we were outside filming late at night to about 9 o'clock. It was freezing cold outside, let me tell you. So after the night was over, uh, we hid the couch behind the bleachers, and then the next day when we came up, we found the couch uh, at the top of the home stands. I'm going to miss the comfort of it. I think that Cherokee is a very safe and inclusive space, especially when you're here for four years and you get comfortable. And I think that stepping outside of our bubble is kind of scary, but I definitely think it's going to be worth it. I think I'm going to miss playing sports. Playing sports really made me have a fun high school because I got to be with my friends every day. Playing baseball with the guys and football and also you know, having my coaches in class as my teachers. Really the friendships. I mean like the first day that I got here I started making friendships and the day that I'm leaving I'm still even making new friendships. Like I love all the people here. Especially people that you're not necessarily that close with. You get to just come here and have fun with everybody. I think I met a lot of new people, made a lot more friends um, this past year so. Uh, definitely the people. Um, I think that there's a lot of people at Cherokee that I've created really a special relationships with and that I'm unfortunately not going to be able to see as much as I do now, so I'm going to miss them. The thing I'll miss most about high school is the um, interconnected community. It's kind of nice just coming to school every year and you know after summer seeing everybody again and having that kind of group of people that you're close with and that you can be really personal with. I'm going to miss just walking around these hallways. I've I had two older brothers who went here too, so I've, it's been my whole life has been in this school. So I'm definitely just going to miss walking around. I'm going to miss everything about it. The best advice I could give you is to go easy on yourselves. Don't beat yourself up if things go wrong. It's, it's going to happen. But just understand that you'll get past it. You can keep moving on. And don't let little things break you. You can have it all would be my advice, right? You can have a good time, but still work hard, put your nose to the grindstone, and still uh, you know, be responsible and things like that. My advice to you all as you look to open up new chapters in your life is to have an open mind to exploring the things that you might not have explored, but also to continue with where you left off here. Focus on relationships. Focus on relationships with people. And I jokingly say social media, get, you know, just get rid of it. It's, your generation needs to know that it, you gotta have people you rely on, you trust. They're true friends, not, not acquaintances, not just they follow you on whatever. But when stuff hits the fan, someone you can call up and talk to and vent to. And um, that's what this generation lacks and we need that and then I also would just say call your parents um, they're, they're gonna miss you and this is different for them too and so when you think about them just let them know let them know you're doing okay um, and touch base with them every once in a while and then always try to make the world a more interesting place than you found it and then you know you're doing a good job Are you really cutting the camera right now? Yes. No, you're going to let the tape run. You're going to let me think I'm off camera, and I'm just going through another tirade. Oh, is it recording? I've been recording. You have been? Yeah, it's been. Wait, is it recording? Yes. Oh. You were recording already? You got my reaction already? That's messed up, man. Is this on the bloopers reel? Let's go. I'm ready. Is it on? Yes. <gasps> okay. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you, yeah. yeah. Why am I looking at you? Oh, look at you. Yeah. Should I do it again? Yeah, that's fine. Camera. Quiet on set, quiet on set. I restate the question first. Is this gonna take a lot of thinking or am I like, show you how it's done? I'm nervous. 
You're gonna edit this, right? Okay, because I feel like knowing you, you, you put the like weird things and you go like. Does my staff feel good though? In one word, I'd probably say passionate and intense. That's that's many words. Can I re restart? Cut it back, cut it back. See, I'm bad at this stuff. All right, Danny Hassel's being weird. <laughs> What's, first of all, can I know the questions ahead of time? Yes, so Before you. What? Put your phones down, man! Sorry. Just... Can I know the question? Yeah. What's the second question? Okay, I'm ready. I would describe my high school experience as catastro catastrophic. One of my favorite, no, 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 no. See, I hate the spotlight. Can we come back to this question? No. God damn it. My favorite memory from high school was probably the Mr. Cherokee show because even though I didn't win, wait, would it be too passive aggressive to yell at Jake? Okay, can you look at me please? Thank you. One word to describe my high school experience would be, it was a parade inside my city, yeah. And uh, the memories that'll last forever. Yo, I, too many people are walking by and they're staring at me. I should have been like, don't go to Disney. Why, cause you, why, cause you couldn't get on any of the rides? <laughs> yeah, that's from my heart. That's all I speak from. Come on, you've had me in class. I'm never scripted. I don't know if I like my answers. I'm not gonna lie. It's my baby joy. It's my baby joy. It's my baby joy. Julia, please leave. Can you not be here? Cause I'll laugh. It's not even cause I'm nervous. I'll just look at you and laugh. Julia, please leave. <laughs> I don't know, wait, come on. Can we ask it again? I'm not really an interview type of guy. You know, 110% effort, we put it all out there, everything's on the floor. <laughs> Guys, I was so locked and now I'm not. I'm taking the pep rally, Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Say what they want to say, that's okay. Cause we don't live in the every day, every day, every day. I don't listen to the songs every day. Game on, game on. Oh, just to have a good day. Never choose not, never choose not.